Okay, so this is what we're dealing with here. Um, this universal joint here is uh, completely worn through. Now I did grease this shaft before I went. Um, so it must be that there's been a lot of dust from those trails because it were very dusty. It's got into there, dried the grease out and caused it to overheat and then which has broken the metal. So that's what's causing the shake and the violent vibration in the car um, and all that clunky noising. So we'll take this off. We can put it in diff lock and drive the car. It won't be a problem. Um, but as long as I've got it in diff lock in high range, it'll be absolutely fine for the trip back. However, I don't know if you can see on the camera that it has really, really caused a bit of a movement in my output shaft here. I can't do anything about that on this trip, but if I get all the weight off it with this, keep the car in diff lock, I'll be fine to drive it back and I can sort it out once I get back to England. So I've removed the front prop shaft now. Here it is. I've only got the rear one in my car. As you can see here from inside, it's completely shattered and eaten itself. I've got a little bit of articulation, but nothing on that side. Whereas this is how it's supposed to be completely free and full to flow to as required when it's spinning around. So right now I've got my rear prop shaft on only, which means that if I try and drive off with a gearbox left without diff lock on, it's just gonna spin the front of the transfer box. At which point after a few seconds, it'll probably eat itself. Those little planet gears are spinning around rapidly and fast and then you destroy a transfer box. So what you've got to do now is put your transfer box into diff lock, keep it in high range for normal road driving, of course. That'll get you home. It'd be absolutely fine to drive on one prop shaft with the diff lock engaged. Don't let anybody else tell you that that won't work or that'll damage the gearbox. If you look on your Land Rover in your manual, it will say to take off one of the prop shafts if you're using a rolling road or anything like that to test the vehicle. Now, Important thing to mention is when you put your prop shaft back on and you've got two prop shafts on, disengage that diff lock. If you leave it engaged, then the front wheels will spin at the same rate as the back wheels. And that's when you'll cause damage. So thanks for watching. I'll see you when I fit this.